Now we're going to look at possible content of your statement in sexual orientation claims. These are just some examples and some questions that you may want to ask yourself when you're drafting your statement. As we said in previous videos, this is your story and it is very important that you are as open as possible and as detailed as possible. These are some questions that you may want to ask yourself and points to think about when you are preparing your statement in sexual orientation claims. First of all, how do you identify yourself? Are you gay, lesbian, bisexual, or you do not like any of these labels, you want to be identified in a different way? This is important and it has to be explained and described in your statement. In relation to problems in your country of origin, think about any difficulties you had in the past, if you had any problems, if you've ever been attacked, or if you experience any trauma or any problems, this has to be described in detail. It may be very difficult, so it's helpful for you perhaps to write it down in your own time and then give it to your lawyer. And your lawyer will ask you different questions, new questions, but you don't have to go through it from scratch for the first time with your solicitor or even worse, at your interview with the Home Office. Think about times in your country of origin when you started feeling differently, when you started to feel attracted to people of your own sex and gender, and uh, think about how old you were, try and put dates if you can remember, and try to explain how you felt. Is there a first time when you remember being attracted to somebody? Did you have any experience, romantic or sexual, in your country of origin? If so, try to explain. You do not need to give specific sexual details, of course, but it is important to explain if you had any experience and how old you were and how did you feel. This is your story, so it has to be clear to the Home Office how you realize that you are um, gay, lesbian or bisexual. If you had a relationship that doesn't match your sexual identity, for example, if you're a lesbian but you were married to a man, try and explain why this happened. Maybe you, your sexual orientation was different before, or maybe you were forced to marry somebody in your country. So all these have to be explained. You have to remember that everything has to make sense in the statement, so you have to give the Home Office the opportunity to fully understand your story. And therefore, any event needs to be explained clearly. Another question that is worth thinking about is how did you feel growing up in a country where you couldn't express yourself? And explain, were you able to express yourself in any circumstances? Did you have to hide your sexual orientation all the time? If you've been mistreated in any way, it is important to describe this and to give details. Obviously, it may be very difficult to do that, but it is important that you try because this is a very crucial part of your case and it is important to describe any incident. If it's too painful to discuss, talk to your lawyer and or try to put this in writing before you talk to anybody about that because it may be easier for you. In terms of what happened to you in the UK, you can explain if you have been living differently now more openly in the UK, if you had any relationship or if you have any relationship, you can discuss uh, your experience here, what you are doing, if you're going out uh, to places that are um, LGBT friendly, if you uh, contact any organizations here uh, to meet new people, etc. Finally, you need to think about what would happen to you if you went back. Because no matter what happened or didn't happen to you in the past, in your country of origin, the main thing, the main question to be answered is, what do I fear when I go back? So it is important that you describe your fear, what would happen, and explain why you fear that. If you come from certain countries, it may be very obvious and well known that um, LGB people are mistreated, but still it is up to you to explain in your words what you fear in your country of origin. It is possible that in your country you fear the authorities, or it is possible that you fear someone else, for example, your family. In this case, you need to think whether it would be possible for you to go somewhere else in your country, far from your family. Would you be okay living somewhere else? Because if so, you may not be entitled to international protection because you can go somewhere else in your country. Or would it be very difficult for you to live outside your home area in another area where you may not have any support. You need to discuss, think about it and discuss this in your statement. What would happen to you if you went back now that you've lived in the UK? 
uh, are you different now? Would you be able or willing to hide your sexual orientation back in your country? And why would you hide it? Because you fear persecution or because you're a private person? You need to explain all this and you need to discuss it in your statement.